All right, Max, let's tighten up a little bit more and we're gonna work on our front legs. Um, we're gonna do our feet first. And he's got some slippers going on here. So what I wanna do first is I wanna gently pull this down. Now, um, Max has had both fr front legs broken, I believe. And he'll let you know, but I just gently try and hold his foot down, hold the hair flat in my palm, use my small beveled edge shears and clean around the edge. In case I get a toenail, I don't want to ruin my good shears. Plus the smaller shears are easier to maneuver around that foot. But never go directly over the pad. You want to stay right on the edges of the pads because there's always that little bump right there and you don't want to pinch it, okay? Now, we're gonna let him stand. I'm gonna just gently hold this leg because he does not stand straight anymore. His toes kind of point out this way. So what I'm gonna do is comb everything down and my first cut is gonna go right across his toes. Okay, and my second cut's gonna come straight this way and my third cut's gonna come straight this way. Not much coming off there. And then we're going to take off the corner and the corner right here and round that in. All right, that's how we're going to get a nice straight leg by first marking out that foot. All right, if you have any issues with steps, you can go ahead, take your brush and lift that. And this is a good place to take a 45 tooth blender. Okay, just brush that up and use that to soften. All right, that's a 45 tooth blender, and that'll take those um, sharp edges right off of your stop, right off of your foot. Now, a nice, um, nice 45 tooth blender to use there would be, see how nice that looks, would be the um, beveled edge blenders because they take a little bit more abuse. But that is our front foot.